A local high school football coach is on leave pending an investigation at George Washington Carver High School. He's accused of getting physical with a player during a game earlier this month. Our Whitney Miller spoke with that player's mom, who says she wants answers. A lot of the students Irene Amaker's son plays football at Carver High School in the Ninth Ward. She says on September 7th, during a football game, her son was mishandled by one of the team's coaches. He was on the sideline and the coach had verbally abused him and also assaulted him, grabbing him by the face helmet, slinging him and bust his lip. Amaker says she's upset because the school never notified her. Y'all supposed to protect him at all times. Yeah. Even if he had a scrape on the elbow, the nurse job is to call the parents and say, hey, mom, your child have your child have a, a scrape, but he's okay. When we all gonna do that? We shouldn't have to call y'all about this. It should have already been brought to us. So it seemed like y'all are hiding these things and trying to cover up these things. Amaker emailed officials at Collegiate Academies on the 10th and got a response from the district's chief of staff on the 12th. In that email, Reed Irvin told Amaker, quote, the interaction between the student and the coach was inappropriate and we will cooperate with any plans you have, including filing a report with NOPD. At the same time of the email, the coach was still on staff and approached Amaker, who was at the school to file a report with police. He then told me that he could assure me the things that he, I'm hearing are just rumors. Mm -hmm. So when he said that, that made me upset because now you didn't take accountability for what happened. I reached out to the coach who told me over the phone that the allegations against him are false. He said he did interact with Amaker's son on September 7th, but that it was not to the extent of what Amaker claims. WWL TV reached out to the NOPD, who told us there is an open investigation into the incident, which NOPD determined to be a, quote, miscellaneous incident. A spokesperson for GW Carver High School told WWL the coach was placed on leave until an investigation is complete. In a statement, they said Carver is dedicated to creating a safe and supportive environment for our student athletes. We are aware of an incident that occurred during Thursday's game and are investigating. The coach in question claims the allegations are a form of retaliation because he was recently named the interim head coach. Amaker says that is false. He said, Mom, it's so many things that is going on. He said um, he didn't want to say anything at the time because he didn't want to add on to what was going on. It's no retaliation at all. I don't know him personally, nor the other coaches. However, I really don't care about none of this that's going on. My main thing is my child. He was assaulted. He was verbally abused. That's just that. In New Orleans, Whitney Miller, Eyewitness News.